What's up, my dudes? How's it going today? Dak Blake here, and today we're modding Amanda the Adventurer. That's right, today we are using mods in Amanda the Adventurer. We're gonna make Amanda tiny. We're gonna discover every single secret tape. We're gonna break the game today. This mod is by my buddy Outwit, and it allows us to pretty much do everything. So we can literally do anything our imagination desires. And also, <laughs> I was feeling super sick today. I took a bunch of medicine, you know? So excuse my coughs, but we're gonna keep going. I was so excited, I wanted to play this for you guys and make you smile so let's just hang out and see what we can do so as you can see this kind of looks like a pretty normal amanda right she looks pretty giant well if we zoom out look at how tiny she is we can now summon amanda and just put her on the table right here and just be like hey what's, what's up <laughs> we've now we've now taken this icon of spookiness this scary creature and we've gone and placed it on the table <laughs> Oh, look at you. You're so adorable. You're a good Amanda, aren't you? What, what, what am I doing? What am I doing? So, um, as you can also see, we have the ability to fly. We can do anything we want. I mean, the first thing we should probably do is kind of see what it, the game looks like from the outside. I, um... I mean, it looks kind of the same as it was in the demo, huh? I was looking around before, and I do see that there is, like, a preloaded cutscene. Now, that is one of the endings. I know every single uh, secret ending. I don't know if we'll do all of the, uh, like, steps in this episode, since I'm sure that you've been watching a lot of Amanda the Adventure episodes, you know? Uh, there, there are a lot of secret tapes. But Outwit made it super convenient for us. We could literally just click Tapes Menu, and we could get every secret tape just... I have to click the button. So, um, the first tape actually is, uh, what it, if you say nobody when you're taking, uh, Wooly to the doctor. If you say, like, where should we go? Or who can take care of Wooly? We say nobody. And you get the blue tape. So I haven't actually watched these tapes. Hold on. <laughs> Where's it going? It's flying away. He's going and exploring the entire attic by himself over there. Excuse me, tape. I need you. So I did want to watch these. I haven't seen them. So, we, I mean, if you're new to the secret tapes, we're going to be watching them together. All right. Okay. So, 3 8 2002, 2 47 p.m. Um, what is going on here? Oh, is that like the real life Amanda? I, <laughs> I think that actually might be. Hold on. Let's see. I, is it what? Is there no sound? I, I can't hear anything. I'm not sure what's going on, but I, I think maybe my game broke or something. I have no idea what's going on here. But I think Amanda is signing something right now. And this could be, I think that the lore is, is that Amanda was a real person and the creator, uh, which is Sam, which we read on the paper, uh, adopted this uh, Amanda. So I think that this is almost like them kind of teaching her in the live action version. Oh, yeah. Okay. And then we have somebody just guarding the door here. All right. Here we go. I have no clue what's going on. Um, okay. You know, I guess it, it makes sense that there's no, like, audio because it's, like, security cam footage, right? So, what's going on here? I am very confused. Okay. So, um, yeah. <laughs> We immediately turn around and there's just a tiny Amanda over there. I don't know why that's funny to me. Okay. Oh, this hurts. Okay. I don't know why. Just seeing a tiny Amanda standing on the desk over there. Oh, man, it's perfect. It literally looks like she's like, Hey, uh, can I... Can I get off the table now, please? Okay, so <laughs> this this episode's gonna be a blast. We're just hanging out, breaking the game. So I know all of the secrets here. I was playing this and there are so many things to this game. So this thing, there's a code where you get a tape and I think it's like 24052, I don't know, it's something. There's a tape that plays that uh, shows Amanda saying the code. But then you're also supposed to, uh, what is it? Fill up this bucket right here to dump the water on this thing to uh, get the key to get this uh, tape over here. And this is the we can share tape. There's 
also another tape that you can get by, I think, getting this yellow flower and placing it on the hair of the doll, and then the doll will just give you a tape. I think it's the purple one. So there's actually like quite a lot of really cool steps to this, which I really enjoy. It's crazy how far the game has come from like the initial game. Hold on, can I give Amanda an apple? Here you go. Oh, wait, oh, whoa, it's flying away, hold on. Here you go, would you like an apple? <laughs> okay, here you go. Oh no, bye-bye. What am I doing? I keep going into just random moments of just like weirdness. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's stay on track to discovering everyone. Like that's not discovering, but watching every single tape so that if you're, you know, new to all the tapes, we can also kind of react together. So like I said about the uh, the doll secret tape, all you need to do is grow a flower in the water over here and then place the flower in her hair. Uh, I think that's what it is. Hopefully I'm not missing a step. I might be, I don't know. But this is the secret tape for that. All right, let's see. What do we got? It's been three weeks oh. since local television producer Sam Colton ah, was reported yes. missing. Okay. And authorities still have no leads. Mm -hmm. Colton is the creator of Amanda the Adventurer, oh, yep, yep, a yep. public access children's educational program so we read this on that the became paper. a huge hit among area children. Okay. But with Colton's disappearance, the Ooh. future of the show remains unclear. Okay. Last year, Hamlin Entertainment purchased rights to the live action oh, program that's all starring the Colton's stuff. daughter, Rebecca. Yes, see? As budget okay. and production value increased, Hamlin reimagined the show as an animated series, oh. planning to syndicate the program nationally. Oh. Hamlin's acquisition of the like program she's in there, and Colton's huh? recent disappearance have raised Wait. some eyebrows. And to further fuel these concerns, new episodes of Amanda the Adventurer what? have had subject matter that has left local parents <laughs> uncomfortable about the program. Okay, like what? My kids are still really into that show, okay. but it has changed. I mean, mm -hmm. I walked in the other day and Amanda was talking about how mommies and daddies aren't always right. <laughs> okay. I mean, what is that? <laughs> I don't it's know not why. something you tell impressionable kids. <laughs> okay. I had to change the channel. I just told the kids that the TV was acting up. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. It's not it's like clear. that was the last Colton's straw. Colton's disappearance will affect the involvement of his daughter, Rebecca, the show's okay. young star. We reached out to Hamlin Entertainment for an interview. Okay. While representatives declined to comment, they did release a written statement. We at Hamlin have concerns surrounding the nature of Sam Colton's abandonment of both our program and his what? daughter. What? We cannot speculate on his reasons for leaving. We do ask that the community respect the privacy Ooh. of Rebecca Colton as she needs time out of That's the spotlight suspicious. to process these disturbing events. For the time being, Rebecca's local appearances have been canceled, including the Kensdale Public Library fundraiser, Woolies Readathon, this Saturday evening. I wonder if there's Rest any assured that Amanda is not going anywhere. Hamlin Entertainment remains committed to our vision for this cherished program. Oh. Despite this statement, authorities have not drawn any conclusions about the nature of Sam Colton's disappearance. We will share any future updates as the story develops. Okay. When we return, we'll check in with Zappo, <laughs> the talking gerbil. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Zappo! All right. Wait, what's going on now? It's still going? It's me, your friend, Skip. Hey, Skip. And with me, as always, is my trusty dog, Chip. Hi, Chip. Aw. Oh, that, that was a random thing. All right, now we take this tape and we throw it off into the distance. So that was a really good one. It kind of uh, balanced together the, the tape that we just saw with, uh, what is it, Sam Colton's daughter. So, so far it seems that, uh, what is it, Sam Colton adopted uh, his daughter, Amanda, or is that, what was her name? I, I Was it Amanda or not? Man, my brain is all fuzzy. I, I don't remember. So we already saw the oven se uh, secret tape in the last episode. That's if you get a peach, which I think is over here, right? And then you uh, cook it in the oven, I think at a special temperature. Or actually, no, it's not a special temperature. It's the normal temperature. The special temperature is the meat pie. So there's also another secret tape where, um, uh, in the last episode, we basically looked and got to the petting zoo and then it asked for a name. And if you say Sam, you get this one. So I'm guessing the uh, bird's name is Sam, right? And uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I haven't seen this one. I, I just know how to get them, which is weird. <laughs> okay. So this one's going on for a while. Coffee break with Sadie Copper, right? Okay. Welcome to Coffee Break. All right. Today, I'm talking with Sam Colton, the creator oh, of the hit kids show, Amanda the Adventure. Whoa. And I have to say, a fantastic studio neighbor. Oh. Thanks for having me on the show, Sadie. You're a pretty good studio neighbor So yourself. it was live action before, Sorry, right? I am going to gain 50 pounds if you keep stocking the kitchen with those delicious homemade cookies. Oh, he's so nice. You can't have a coffee break without cookies. I know. Sam. 
Last year, you started producing Amanda the Adventurer right here in the studio. Okay. The whole town loves it. Did you even imagine that would be such a big sensation? Was it just a Honestly, sensation baby, only no, in the town or no? It was a total surprise. I mean, it's scrappy at best. Okay. You know how it is when you have a big idea and a little budget. I don't know if I know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Kids don't really care about that, though. They see the heart. Man, this is so perfect boy, does your show for, like, have a big heart? the time period, you know? You know, I really have to thank it feels so real. librarian, Miss Kate, oh! for being such a champion of the project. What? I think she's talked about it at every single story time. Whoa. I think it's just so rare nowadays for kids' shows to be so much fun, but also really teach kids something, isn't it? What? What inspired you to create Amanda? I wanted to create a show that teaches children that our world is a magical place. That there are little adventures waiting around every corner in their very own neighborhood. The show is a celebration of kids' imagination. It sounds really good, you know? But really? It's all Rebecca. Oh, it's Rebecca. That's her as name. As soon as I met my beautiful daughter, the inspiration was there. Aww. You know, she was it's so kind of sad, though, knowing what happened, you know? And despite what she's gone through, she's always seen the world with such kindness and joy. She's the light of my life. Oh yeah, okay, so I knew that she was so adopted from your guys' comments and stuff too, but I think this is how you know, right? She really is something special. Watching her perform is simply delightful. I mean, the whole show is just so cute. Thank you, Sadie. Do you see big things happening with Amanda the Adventurer? I've actually had some people approach me about it. Oh. They want to turn Amanda into a cartoon. I can't really talk about it yet, but it's exciting. Ooh. It feels like a dream, the idea of welcoming even more kids into this wild, creative world. It feels this like, is like my the ultimate show tape right here. really have a big impact. That's incredible. <laughs> Sam, thanks so much for having a coffee break with me today. Our community is so lucky to have you. And Rebecca. On our next I wonder coffee if there's break, anything hidden in the floral background. arrangements for all occasions, featuring the newest addition to our neighborhood, Rose Matthews Rose of Rose's Matthews. Bouquet. Until then, may your coffee always be steaming and the conversation sparkling. Okay. Are you going to everything else? I'm trying to listen. Okay. Wow. That is like one of the best tapes to get all the secrets. So before we go into the final piano secret tape, let's break the game a little bit. I feel like I've been like eager to see what we can do. Now, can we select the building and just start deleting it? Like, can we just be like, hold on, let's see. I'm gonna see, oh yeah, I, I could select the window. And, and it's destroyed. No more outside. Outside is has been deleted. Okay. I like how it still sounds like thunder out there, but nothing is happening. So Amanda now, I have spawned another one and she's in the ground walking around. She's looking at all my evidence right now. She's like, wait a minute. What are you discovering? She is, she's looking at all my stuff. Hold on, we're gonna make her a giant. Let's get her out of here. Oh, even this one is walking over. They're flying. All right, I've already, I've already made Amanda a giant now. She looks like she just does not care anymore about, you know, trying to attack us. She's like, you know what? This is great. I just wanted to be a little bit taller. Oh, she looks kind of happy. It does look, I feel like every single time we play any game, right? I always make the monster like our friend. And when you do that, it makes him kind of adorable. Look at that smile. Look at those teeth. Yeah. You want to go to the dentist? Let's let's do that. I think this is actually the smallest I can make her. Oh, look at her. Oh, hello. She follows me. Hey, do you want to come over here? Wow, that's crazy. I forgot that she actually follows us. It's like we're making our own little ending here. You know, we've spawned in our friend. It does seem sad. Throughout the course of the show, you really do see the character of Amanda kind of show her emotions. Uh, and one of the secrets that we saw, it was like Amanda was being torn down. She was talking about rotting. It's kind of sad. So in this kind of instance, we've given her almost like an alternate ending where she doesn't like have to attack. She could be friendly, you know? I wish we could do the same to Wooly. A Wooly has no good endings, right? He's just our buddy from the beginning to the end. 
but nothing gives him like that good ending, right? Maybe in the future we could do a mod where we can save Wooly, right? I feel like it, it needs to happen. I wonder if we could spawn the mousetrap over here and if she can affect it. I like how I was just going on a rant though. I just realized I was like, oh, look, she's our friend. Can we capture her in the mousetrap now? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, let's see if this works. Um, it probably doesn't work, right? We don't have the cheese and it. Yep, she just walks right over it. Uh, Amanda does kind of look like a mouse a little bit, right? A little bit. But look, it's like we're training Amanda. This is her new workout equipment. Since she's now so tiny, she can just use it as like, like a, what is it? Like a, a weight equipment, right? She's like, thanks. I love the gift. These, these are gonna get buff. Wonder how many we can actually spawn before the game gets too laggy. So yeah, Amanda, uh, she has shown up and she is now, uh, she has a bunch of sisters. Uh, you never knew about them, but they're all here. Look at all of them. It looks so funny. It looks like they're watching the TV. It's like, hey, hello, welcome to the new Amanda the Adventure episode. It is airing tonight in this building only. Uh, and wh why is this Amanda the only one staring at me? This man is like, you are wrong. There are no new episodes. Hey, come on, be cool. Hey, whoa, whoa, why are you getting so close? Excuse me, step back. She's like whispering in my ear. She's like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Hi, I, I, I know we're friends, but like uh, personal space, please. So yeah, we do have one more tape tape to play, but um, let's go and watch it. Hey, don't get too close to the TV, it'll hurt your eyes. Ah, so the purple tape is the piano secret tape. I remember in the previous episode, it was, uh, the notes were actually listed on the back wall. Um, and then all you have to do is play it in uh, the correct order and it pops out here. But I could have sworn that the doll was the purple one, so I have no clue. Maybe Outwit labeled them wrong, I have no idea. Okay, I can see this Amanda watching right now. In fact, hold on, excuse me, can I can I watch this please? Okay. All right, here we go. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. Wait, what? Bye, yell. Bye, yell. Bye, yell? Bye, yell. What? Pie man. Pie man? Pie man. I don't understand. Pie man. It almost feels like she's doing like a Pie curse or something. What is she reading? Yeah, that's so Sam. Few simple words. Uh, this script is specifically tuned to train the technology's dynamic voice reaction. Oh, it's like an AI what? voice. I want this to stop. <sighs> Sam, why don't you take a walk for a few minutes? What? We've only got a few more of these. No, I don't want to do that. What? Rebecca, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The man in the headphones. What? This no man. She's upset. This is going too far. What? Let's just take five. Rebecca, come on out and we'll... Whoa. That is crazy. So yeah, there's actually quite a lot of secret tapes and there's also secret endings that um, I can't really like enable with the mod, but and it, it's kind of broken to actually do right now. But one of them, ends in a mysterious like man showing up it almost looks like an investigator and i wanted to give you guys like a good look of what he looks like because you only see him for like a half a second in the normal game but this is like his untextured model right here and it looks like i mean like an investigator and this is the hat ending it's what you see as a sticker on the uh tv but look at this guy he's pretty cool i think he just shows up in the house and he's like we got a plan let's go <laughs> but yeah i just wanted to do a quick video today i you've probably seen no coughs but i've been coughing in the middle of stuff but it's probably been all edited out but now i am probably gonna go get some rest and i leave you with this and a, a swarm of amandas with the true tiny amanda in the center so hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully we can do some crazy mods in the future hey give me some ideas of things we could do uh down below in the comments so yeah hopefully you enjoyed and hopefully i made you smile that's all i want to do every single day if you're ever feeling bad you can look at your boy Dak Blake, we can play some games together and I can cheer you up once more. And thank you for subscribing and joining the Dak Pack as we go on to 3 million. It is crazy. I thank God every day I'm able to do things like this, whether it's mods or new games or rip-offs. I just want to make you smile every single day. So hopefully I see you in the next episode. Probably coming up right now. I'll see you there. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, peace out, my dudes.